in this video I'm going to show you how you can rip a music CD or copy the songs from your music CD to your hard drive. The program that I'll be using is a Sunder. It's a graphical user interface used in Linux. Alright, to begin I'm going to put my CD in the CD-ROM. In a few moments after my computer recognizes my CD, uh, it will pop up on my screen asking me uh, what to do with the CD. I will then choose the program and this is it. Uh, you have just inserted the audio CD. Choose the application you want to launch. I don't want to listen to the music on the CD player and I don't check this box I always perform this action because I don't want to every time I put it in there to start playing. I want to actually use another program uh, which is Asunder. Asunder is at the top open Asunder CD Ripper. I can burn the CD, I can play it with multiple players that I have on my computer, but in this case I'm demonstrating how to use Asunder to rip a music CD. So I select this option and I hit OK. In a few moments uh, the program will identify the name of the artist of the CD, the name uh, or the title of the CD, the genre, and it goes out and looks across the internet not only finds all that information it will find the names of every single song and it will label it for you now if this is the first time that you're ever using the program you need to go and set up your preferences this is the destination like where you want your music to be ripped to I chose my music folder I do want our M3U playlist so when I click on that it will automatically change to my individual songs back and forth of the way that I have my music player designed to play the music. When I finish ripping I do want it to eject the, the CD player and over on file names tab the, the, you can change these so that it lists or rips it and creates a different playlist that, or the way it labels it. It will place the artist and the, the L which is the album name but the music file is more what I'm in, uh, what I'm looking for it will place a number which is my track number it will place an artist name and then it will place a song title so that's the order in which it will place the music after I rip it the encoder I can choose the wave files those are very huge and takes a longer time to rip those uncompressed files will it sound exactly like the original. It's not going to alter it. MP3s are very popular across the internet and that's what I chose to do. A variable bit rate and it's going to rip around the range of 190 kilobytes. The OGG, that's a lossy compression, very similar to MP3. This is just the open source version of the audio file. The FLAC, it's a lossless compression. It's very popular but with some editing software uh, I prefer the MP3. You have other more formats and proprietary encoders but the MP3 works fine for what I'm going to demonstrate. The advanced settings is the information that you see here that it pulled across the internet this is where it gets it at. This is the uh, getting the CD information about your music. So once that you've got this set up, the most important thing you really need to set up is your music folder. By default it would place it in your home folder but I prefer to put it in my music folder. So I click OK and when you're done it, it's very simple. There's a little rip button at the bottom and I'm circling it with my mouse pointer. Um, when I press rip it will take several moments or several minutes to rip so once it gets started I will pause the video so that you're not watching the entire time ripping and as you can see I forgot to name the date that it included up here but after it starts ripping I will pause the video and I'll unpause it when it gets toward the end and I'll show you the music folder so when you rip press the rip button it then shows you a total progress bar and this is the key thing from showing from beginning to end, that's your whole progress. This is it's while it's ripping, the percentage of the songs that's coming off of the CD. This is encoding it. So it's taking the format that's on the CD and it's encoding it and placing it on my computer. So there's three different bars because they're doing different things. The key thing is in completing the whole process is the total progress uh, ripping bar. But as you can see, it's ripping pretty quickly. So I may uh, let you watch the entire ripping process so that you will understand if this is the first time you're using it, how long it takes to rip a DVD or a CD, I'm sorry, uh, with approximately 12 songs. And these songs are average length songs. As you can see, they're about three to four minutes long. 
So you can see the amount of time it takes to rip the music with an average uh, song length. Now if you have some older songs like Queen with some of the songs that may be 12 minutes long and you have a lot of those on there, then the time will vary according to the length of the song and how many songs that you have on your music CD. So since we're about halfway, instead of pausing the video, I will show you from beginning to end because sometimes when you're uh, watching someone, they pause it and then they're returning, you have no indication of how long the process took. So if you're the first time using it, you have no idea whether it's going to take 5 minutes, 30 minutes, or you have no idea if it's going to take you a certain amount of time. So it's almost completed. And when it completes, it will eject the CD. So I'll quieten down toward the end process so you can hear the CD pop open on my computer. And after it pops open, I will close the program and show you my music folder where it ripped the song or all the songs from the album Cruel Summer by Ace of Base. This is the old CD. I got this back in the late 1900s. All right. I don't know if you heard that in the background, but it did open my CD player. All right, there's nothing because the CD is open now. I'm going to close this out. I am going to go to my Kaha file manager. I'm going to go to my music folder, and as you can see, it has an Ace of Base Cruel Summer, and that's the way that we had it to label the folder. If you choose to label it something else, you can change those legends around in your preferences. And as you can see here, I've got a number, I've got the song, uh, Ace of Base, the, the group, and the name of the song. So as you can see, each of these songs, they are now properly labeled. And I have my MP, M3U file so that my music player, if I bring up that, it will play the songs in the order that I have them arranged to play them, either in order or a random mix. So what this video did is it showed you how you can insert a music CD into your music player and rip it with the program called Asunder. It was very, very simple. Hopefully you've understood how to take music from your CD and put it on your hard drive so that you can transfer it maybe to your portable music player so that you can listen to it on your portable device or on your computer without putting your music CD into it. Now please remember, do not share the music that you purchased online. So that way the, the artists and the creators will get their money from this. This is a CD that I purchased many years ago. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and have a great day.